Welcome back team, I'm Juliet and today we're doing 60 minute full body strength training waterfall challenge. If you're new to my channel, welcome and make sure to subscribe, hit your bell button so you don't miss our daily workouts. Guys, I'm so excited for you, that will be fun, challenging and effective. I will guide you through all the modifications you need and you guys will do your part. So let's crush this workout together. Let's begin. All right, guys. So let's begin our waterfront challenge. Let's begin with a warm up. And our first exercise is going to be the side lunges today. So go ahead and start doing those side lunges. Each warm up. Exercise about one minute. We need to bring that heart rate up. So join me when you're ready, guys. All the way, nice and wide. And dive into the glutes, guys. Up, sit and tight, chest lifted. Do not bend over too much. We're gonna have such an awesome time. It's gonna be challenging, though. Super effective. We're gonna burn a lot of calories and build lean body mass. All right, keep going, guys, pulling those side lunges. Give me a good wide step. Good quality wide step. I'm so excited. Whew. All right. Come on, guys. So today we're going to do waterfall challenge. While we're warming up, I'm going to give you a little forecast. We're going to have four rounds for each exercise. We're going to start with 32 reps of each exercise, then drop it to 24, then drop it to 16 and then drop it to eight. And I'm gonna to move to the other exercises. All right, guys. We have two blocks. Keep on pushing. Couple more. And last one. And last one on the other side. Our next warm up exercise is a regular squat jumps or just a squat if you're not doing the flying metrics, right? If you do it with me, then give it a little drop. Keep that. A little drop, guys. So again, about a minute. We need to bring that heart rate up. All right, start to get excited. Give it a drop squat if you can. If you can, guys, then just a regular squat. Make sure you don't bend over, right? We're gonna go for the squat. Squat, dive into the glutes, guys. Wider stand. All the way, good job, guys. Awesome. We're more than halfway through those squats. Let's bring that heart rate up. So we can have healthy, no injury workout. Always warm up. All right, heel that. Come on, guys, four, three, two, and one. And our last warm up exercise is our jacks, guys. Let's begin. If you're not doing your jacks, you know what to do. You go touch, touch, to the side. Just give me the strong arms and white that bounce if you're doing your just the steps outside, set the jacks. Keep on working. All right, feel it a little bit more warm. Hopefully, you are guys as well. Start to get ready for the awesome workout and set your mind for success. Commitment is everything. Set the commitment, don't give up. No matter what, it's gonna be challenging. As always, but then you're gonna be proud. What you do? Come on. A few more, guys. Just a few more left. You got it. Give me four, three, two, and one. Right in. All right, guys. I need you to have water handy. Stay hydrated. And for the first exercise, guys, you're going to grab your kettlebell. I'm using today two, two kettlebells, two kettlebell weights. I'm going to start with 15. I'm going, to, I'm going to see how it's going. Our first exercise is the Zuma squat. You can also use, guys, your dumbbells for this. But with kettlebell, it's a little bit more, it's a little bit more comfortable. Go ahead, put your feet wider than the hips, toes out, knees following the toes, and it's three, two. We start our waterfall challenge, and go. One, first round, 32. Three, guys, four. Five, six, squeeze the glutes on top, seven, eight, guys, that's it, eight of the way, 
seven, six. Guys, both feet are grounded. Both feet are grounded. Try and go to your back bend, right? Again, if you don't have a counterbell, you can definitely do it. Just with a regular dumbbells. Come on, guys. Keep on working. Good job. All the way slow. A little bit different, guys. Sing the glutes. Once in hamstring, we have only last state. Let's rest for the heels. And don't drop your body. Release. As we say, squeeze the purpose. You've got it, guys. Four. And three. And two. And one. Excellent job. So first 32 for this exercise is done. The second exercise is a cannonball swing. We're going to be using the counterbell again. Give me the good, wider stand. And again, if you don't have the counterbell, you're going to use your dumbbell just for swing. It's much easier to do it with a counterbell. Feet hips width apart, just as it goes. Get ready. Three, two, one, and let's go. One, two. It's pretty much very similar exercise between both our arms as well. It's gonna be a little bit more challenging than the first one. <sighs> Guys, take those away. Eight, seven, stay home, six. Bring the cannonball over your dumbbells. Up to 90 degrees, guys. Up here, you got it. <sighs> Come on, guys. We have eight. The last two eights left. <sighs> squat, guys, squat, 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 right in between. It's almost like a Zuma squat, but again, we add in the arms. Good job. We have only last eight dust. Eight, seven, six, five. Don't move your weights, guys, from your toes. Three, two, better squat, last one. Excellent. All right, my friends, we down for two exercises. The next exercise, we're going to be using our dumbbells. Alternating very lunges today. So again, first round is going to be, guys, 32. So I'm using the 10 pounders. Get ready, set, so 16 on each side. One, two, make sure, guys, that your front knee behind your front toes. Always. Keep the balance, brace the core. You've got it. Good job, guys. Come on. Stay with me. Eight all the way. Let's go. Eight. Seven, guys. With me. Six on your rear lunges. It is so important to keep the chest, guys. Above the hips. And step pretty wide and keep those hips square. If you have a mirror, you would sure see both knees in the mirror. Come on, guys. Breathe. Do more weight. We are only on the last eight reps. Stay with me. Seven. All the way. Good, 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 good. Six. Five. Four, guys. Three. Two. And one. Excellent job. Our last exercise in this block is the body weight. Leg kicks, glute kicks. So go ahead and come down on your mat. We're gonna go for the 32 kicks. Kick starts by sitting in the glute. Brace your core so you don't injure your lower back. Get ready, guys. Set. Point your toes and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, guys. Don't stop. Seven. Eight, eight of the way. Six, guys, five, activate the glutes. Four, guys, activate those glutes. Three, two, only 16 pounds left, guys. Long, strong legs. Come on, take come on, 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 don't stop. Those legs must be on fire, especially your glutes and lower back. We have only last day to go, guys. Eight, seven, six, higher kicks, guys. Five, four, my boots on fire, three, two,
two things. One, excellent. That was something. We're gonna go back, guys, to the exercise number one. But this time, which was our Zuma squat. But this time we're gonna do only 24, remember? It's a waterfall challenge. Go ahead and take your toes out, and let's go. One, two, three, four, guys. Five, dive right in between, six, seven, and eight. Eight of the way. One, guys, pull the navel in. Two, don't stop. Three, we almost halfway through. Four, five, six, always me, guys. Good work, we have last eight. So we take away each and every round, eight reps from the exercise. Both feet, guys, nice and firm. Chest up, shoulders down. We have four. That was the purpose. Three, two, and last one. Soft foot. Excellent. Give those legs a couple little kicks. We're gonna move back to the kettlebell swing and squat. So the same position for your feet. Toes down, please follow in the toes. Get ready. Three, two, up to 90 degrees. And go. One, two, three, four. Guys, a little bit lower in the squat. Five, you got it. Six, seven. So it's pretty much, again, the same movement than the Zuma squat, but we add our kettlebell swing. I'm using 15 pounds today. You might use lighter kettlebell, heavier kettlebell, or you might be using your dumbbells today because you haven't gotten yet the kettlebell. It's an optional, but it's much more easier to handle it in certain exercises. <sighs> Guys, we have only four to go. Four, three, all right, almost 24. That's it and time. Excellent. All right, we're moving to our third exercise, 24 reps. We're gonna grab our dumbbells. Remember, it was our rear lunges. Hips, feet hips with apart, let's go. One, two, three. Oh, so excited for you, four. I want to hear everything about your workout, about your progress, guys. I'm here to help you. Any way I can. I want you to succeed. Feel strong. Feel happy. Look just like you want. Come on, guys. Stay with me. We're more than halfway through. Knees, guys, behind your toes on your red light. Just very important. And we have only eight to go. Eight, guys. Seven. With me. Go and grab the chest, six, five, four, two, three, good job, two, and one, excellent. We're moving, guys, to the exercise number four, which was our prone position glute kicks. It's a quick kicks. When we go to 44, let's go. A little bit higher, even higher kicks. Three, guys. Four. Point your toes. Five. Activated glutes. Six. Seven. First eight counts all of the way. Don't bend your knees. Try not to bend your knees. Seven, guys. Six. Five. Four, two. Three. Two. Last eight left. Come on, guys. Keep kicking. Eight. Seven. Quicker, guys. Six. Five, my glutes and my hamstrings so on fire, guys. Four, don't no stop, don't no stop, don't no stop. Finish strong, three, two, and one. You got it. All the way. Great work, guys. Awesome. We're gonna move to the round three. Stay hydrated. This time, we're only doing 16 reps for each and every exercise, and then we have a round four. Grab your kettlebells or grab your dumbbells, whatever guys you have. Get ready. In a position wider than your hips. 16. 15. 
14, guys. All the way into the glutes, into the quads, guys. Knees behind your toes. Thrust through the heels. Dive down up to 90 degrees. You don't have to go super low, but not too low. Up to 90 degrees. Abs in and tight chest, guys, above the hips. Come on, almost there. We're almost there, guys. Four, three, two, and we're moving for the squat kettlebell swing. It's the same position. All of your feet, get ready. Thrust through the heels, guys. Swing it up to 90 degrees. Three, four, stay with me. Five is already number three round. Good job, four, stay close the way. Eight, guys. 70, 6, squat back, squeeze the glutes on top, 5, 4, keep the shoulders steady guys, keep the wrist steady, and last one, you've got it, we're going to grab our dumbbells, that was quick, the last round is going to be even more quicker, grab those 10 pounders, and we're going to go for the rear lunges guys, Fifth, hips width apart, 16. Make sure, guys, your front knee on your right lunge. I'm standing sideways so you can see behind your toes. Do some pretty good step back, guys, so you can really feel those legs fully. Make sure you engage your abs because it's challenging for your balance. Come on, guys. Eight of the way. Eight left. Seven. Six, dive into the glutes, quads and hamstrings. You wait from the knees, you wait from the knees. I know it's challenging. Four left, all the way down. Don't cheat, two left. We're ready for the glute kicks. Excellent. Put your dumbbells back, guys. Make sure you do that as high kicks, activating the glutes as you possibly can. Ready, go, 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 go. One, two. This time only 16, three, four. Kick, 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 guys, five. Six, keep on kicking. Seven, don't stop. In it. Last eight, guys, good engaged glutes. Brace the abs, activate the lower back. Keep on kicking, we have only four. Three, good job, point your toes, two, and one. Good work. We have only one round left in this block and we're gonna to move to the next four exercises to the block number two. Grab your kettlebell. This time we have only eight reps, guys. Only eight reps. Feet wider than the hips. So we must pull, come on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, in eight, get ready, squat, swing guys, squat, swing, squat, deeper, squat, to 90 degrees, three, two, one, good work guys, finish it, grab your dumbbells, all right, we're grabbing the dumbbells, we're gonna go back for lunges, on the eighth one, two, Three, four, only four left, guys. Our water for challenge. Four, three, oh, let's get some tired. Two, keep the balance. And one, get ready for the kicks on the floor, guys. Make sure that you kick as high as you can. Kneecaps, guys, are active. Kneecaps active, three. Point the toes, two, and go, eight. Seven, keep on working guys, six, don't stop. Five, four, and three, and two, big one, and last one. Excellent, good work guys. Congrats, we, all, we are done with our first round. We did four exercises for four circuits. So we're gonna move to the next four exercises right now. Drink your water, stay hydrated. 
And then we'll also, guys, have our abs. This is a full third round of our abs. So for the first exercise, you're gonna grab your dumbbells. Hey, it's gonna be, guys, deadlift and row. As simple as it sounds, I want you to go to the full deadlift, pull in the navel in, never drop the shoulders. Once you come up halfway, you do your row. I'm gonna go sideways so you can see my core. Toes slightly off the floor. You never come up all the way through. Otherwise, you're gonna lose your back. Pull the navel in. Three, two, one. 32 reps. One, two, good. Three, row higher. Four, your back is gonna start screaming closer to 16. Under any circumstances, guys, I want you to lose your form. That's so important, guys. Eight of the way. We're working on the second eight. Absolutely, deadlift. On your deadlift, guys, do not drop the shoulders. All it is, this is your lower back. Row, guys, with the quality. With the quality. Elbows up along the trip cage. You're gonna feel that that lifting your lower back and in your hamstrings. If you drop in your shoulders, you know gonna feel your lower back. We are on the third, number eight. I've seen you guys keep on breathing. Row, all the way. Row, guys. You got it, almost there. We are on the last eight. One, two, you got it. Three, I've seen them tight. Four, five, six, and seven, and eight. Excellent. Put your dumbbells back down. Our second exercise, we're gonna go for 32 reps. You're gonna grab, guys, your kettlebell. I'm gonna to try to do with 15. This is our upright rows, guys. If, if the 15 pounds or whatever you have gonna to get too heavy that you can't lift, I strongly encourage you guys to grab the weight and go with a good four, but with lighter weight. Three, two, one, come on. One, two, three, team. Elbows up over the ceiling. Four, five, six, seven, guys. First eight all the way. Eight, team. Seven, six, you got it. Five, guys. Four, three, two. Great job, guys. We have only 16 left. Come on. 16. 15, guys. Pull your elbows up over the ceiling. 14. When you release your weights or your kettlebell, make sure that you don't drop them. You release till the very end. We're working against the gravity, guys. Try not to lift your shoulders. We are in the last stage. Eight, guys. Seven. I think I'm gonna make it. Six. Five. Come on, guys. Four. Four. Finish strong with me. Three. Two. And one. Excellent. I'm so, 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 so proud of you. Our next exercise, guys, is going to be our plank and shoulder top. We're going to do push up every four reps in a three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Push up. Come on. 9, 10, 11, 12, guys. Push. 13, 14, 15, 16, push. We have another 16 like that. 1, 2, 3, guys. 4, all the way, push up. Come on, guys. 1, 2, 3, 4, let's go. Only 8 left. 
eight, seven, six, five. Get ready, push up. You can do guys your push up on your knees. One, two, three, four. Push up. Thirty-two shoulder tops complete. And our last exercise, guys, in this round is our burpee and frogger. That's gonna be a challenging one. I want you guys to put your dumbbells on the floor. You're gonna do your burpee without your dumbbells. Get ready. Three, two, one. Let's go. One. Lift. You got it. Two. Lift. Three. Lift. Good quality bicep curl. Four, guys. Lift. You've got five. All the way. Come on, guys. Come on, come on, come on. Eight toes away. I know. One. This is probably the most challenging in this round. Two. You can always stop using your weights and do instead steps instead of your full burpee. Come on, guys. Push it, push it, push it, push it. Stay with me till the very end. I know. Come on, guys. Believe or not, we have only 16 left. All the way. So I start count from eight again. Seven, guys. Broker. Six. Broker. You got it. Five. Finish strong, guys. I know, I know, I know, I knew it's gonna be that way. We're almost there, guys. We're gonna do the last eight. We're gonna step out. Instead, hop if you need to. Let's go. You ready? Frogger, guys. All the way. We have only eight left, guys, from here. Let's finish it together. Eight. Seven. Come on, guys. Bicep curl. Six left. Finish strong. Five left. You got it. Four, guys. Come on. Hop or step. Only three to go. Only two after that. Finish it, guys. Last one, guys. Last one. Woo. Come on. All the way. Excellent. You are my superheroes. So proud of you, so proud of myself. Stay hydrated. Our first and the hardest round for surgery to rest is complete. The next round is only 24 reps. We're gonna take away for our butterfly challenge, eight reps from each exercise. Stay hydrated. All right, our first exercise, guys. Remember, deadlift and throw. So go ahead, see. Put your feet hips width apart. Bend your knees. You're gonna hold them bent. When you do your row, you come up only halfway. Shoulder blades connected. Three, two, one. Let's go. One, two. Toes over the floor slightly. Three. Pull the middle in. Four guys. Don't wait. Five. Pull the navel in, guys. Six. You have to keep the back neutral and strong. Do not extend your knees when you come back up. Do not extend your knees, guys. Make sure that you stay slightly in the bend over in order to maintain resistance in the back all the time. Last day, guys. Seven. All the way. Six, my friends. You can do it in five. Exhale. Four guys together. Let's finish strong. Don't roll the dumbbells up. Pull, push. Two left. Pull, push. One left. Pull, push. Excellent. You're gonna grab guys. Your counterbell. 
We're gonna go for upright row. So I'm gonna grab 15 pounds again. 15 pounds. Or right hip. Feet, hips width apart or even slightly wider. Lower body, hold it as a mountain. Get ready. Set only 24. One. Two guys, give me quality. Three, pull the abs in. Four, elbows up, keep your shoulders under control. Five, six, seven, and eight. Eight all the way, guys. Eight, seven, come on. Six, five, four, guys, with me. Three, I do it with you guys every single rep. We have only last day, guys. So it is a rock on the lower body. Knees are soft. Do not hyperextend it back. 14. We have four to go. Four. Three. With me, guys. And two. And that was the last one. Excellent. We're gonna go to our play, guys, in the push-up. Remember, we're gonna do four push up in between. When we're gonna be down to the 16 reps, we're going to reduce, we're gonna do the push up every two tops. Right now, still every four. Use your knees on the floor if you have to for the push ups. Get ready. One, two, three, four guys, push up. One, two, three, four, push up. You got it. One, two, three, four, guys. Push. One, two, three, four. Sixteen all the way, guys. One, two, three, four. We have only four left. Come on, guys. One, we got the belly. Two, three, four. Push. Beautiful. That feels good. We don't do the last exercise of the Frogger. It's a challenging one, guys. Get the lighter dumbbells if you have, but I quite frankly think what's gonna help you is to, when you reach the point, you can't help it anymore. Your legs are not listening, and then you're just gonna do step out with me. Get ready, three. Frogger, guys, two on the position. Let's go, one, two. Good job. Three. You got it. With me, guys. Four. Good work. Five. Give me good quality program back. Six. If you have any knees injuries, you're gonna be doing the higher in the squat. Come on, guys. You got it. Eight of the way. Let's go. Come on. Do not quit, guys. All right. Four next in this last in this last is the last state. All right, three, and we're gonna be down over the last number eight. Come on, guys. Finish it. Finish it. Reach. Guys, we have only last eight with me together. One. Let's go. When you look up and you can hold your dumbbells in your hands, it's not as dramatic for the wrist. Good job. We have only six. Come on, let's play. Broker. Bicep. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Only four to go, guys. Come on. You ready? Finish small. Let's go. Two left. I'm gonna hop. Last one, guys. Come on. Plank all the way. That was something. That was the second from hardest. All right, we're going to return to the exercise, guys. Number one, stay hydrated. It's gonna be our dumbbells that lifts and rolls. This time, we're only doing, guys, 16. So get ready. 
feet hips width apart. I'm gonna stand sideways so you can see my lower back and my shoulders. You're never gonna drop the shoulders. Get ready, set, go, one. Do not extend your knees all the way, two. Good job, three. Watch where you're going, not with the shoulders, with the back, four. Pick up your navel towards the lower back, keep on breathing, we have one state. Eight. Seven. Good work, guys. Six, we're gonna finish this challenge together. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Excellent. Good work, guys. Grab that cowbell. We're gonna go for the upright rows. I'm gonna grab still 15 pounds. So go ahead, put your feet hips with the partner slightly wider. We have only 16 here. One, two, three, four guys with me. Five, we're getting closer till the end towards our ass. We have guys eight. Drive right, right along the body, seven, don't leave the shoulders, six, solid it on your feet, guys, five, with me, guys, four, three, two, one more, one, excellent, the next one, guys, remember our plank in tops, this time we're going to do the push-up every two tops, so it's the same amount of the push-ups, just a little bit shorter period of time. Get ready, set, go. One, two, push up. One, two, push up. One, two, push up. One, two, guys, push up. We have only eight to go. One, two, got it. One, two. Use your knees, guys, on the floor if you have to. Last one. Oh boy. Excellent. We done the six and we would have to do another round like that eight, but after we will finish our Kroger for 16. This one is hard, but we're gonna finish it together on the position, guys. Kroger itself, it's very hard position. Making your quads and your glutes super tired. We do it together. Comes on the floor, three, two, one. One. You got it. Two, three, four, guys, five. Give me good quality bicep curl. You got it. Don't drop the dumbbells on the way back. Six, seven, eight. Come on, guys. We have only eight to go. One. Bicep curl. Two. Bicep curl. Three. Bicep curl. All the way, all the way. Let's do the last four together. Come on, guys. Don't give up. Frog your bus. Give me two more. Only last one, guys. Stay strong. All the way. Excellent. It's taking us to our last round of this block. Grab, grab guys your dumbbells. And we're gonna go for the deadlift bend over row. Feet, guys, hips width apart, weight away from the toes. Watch your shoulders. I'm gonna stay front towards you. Do not drop those shoulders. Three, two, one, one. Only eight reps. Two, three, four, guys. No four, right? Five, don't come up all the way up. Deep. Six, pull, push, seven, 
and eight. You got it. Okay, grab the kettlebell. I'm gonna grab 15 pounds again. We go only for eight reps. Feet hips with the partner slightly wider. Chest up and hold it. Finish it together strong. One, two, three, four, guys. It's easy. Five, only eight, six, seven, and eight. Great job. Our play is coming. This time we do only eight. Every two, we do the push up. Do best your push ups on your knees, but then you're playing. Not in your tabletop, right? Three, two, guys. One, let's go. One, two, one, two with me. We have only two like this. Last one. All right. This is an advantage of the water pool challenge. Every single time we go a little bit less, so you can just feel good about it. All right. Our frogger, let's give it with a pride. Do your board, do your burpee hops. It's only eight reps. Hands on the floor. Ready, set, come on. One, two, guys, with me. Three, four, five. Only, guys. Three to go, you can do it. Only two. Finish strong with me, team. Come on, let's fly. All the way. Excellent. That concludes how the second power round takes us to our abs workout. So go ahead and put your dumbbells away, my friends. But grab your kettlebell handy. For this round, I'm gonna get my 10 pounds, guys. So put this kettlebell close. We're gonna use it in exercise number four for the sit-ups. Your first exercise is gonna be your knee to the elbow. We're gonna start with 32. It's gonna be challenging, guys. Get ready. Three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, Six, eight of the way, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, sixteen of the way, guys. One, two, drives the elbow, drives the knee to the elbow so you can really target the trunks. Eight, guys, left. Seven, six, five, hit the elbow. Four, three, two, one. Excellent. That was very challenging. Our next exercise, guys, here for the core and abs is going to be our bare plank to the regular plank. We're going to be walking from the regular plank to the bare plank. So go ahead. Find yourself in a plank position. In a four, guys. Three. Two. Let's go. One. Two. Remember, guys, your bare, your knees to be really close to the floor. Just a couple inches of the ground. It's not a downward facing dog. <sighs> Guys, eight of the way. Let's go, eight. <sighs> Full quality step back to the plank. <sighs> Bare quality, guys, come on. <sighs> you got it, you got it, you got it, you got it. <sighs> 16 all the way, my friends, pick up your belly. Only 16 left. I know it's challenging. At the very end, guys, if you really, really, really need to slow down and team, you're gonna take your knees on the floor for the tabletop. Last eight. Seven. Six, guys. Five. Four. Three. And two, my friends. And one. Excellent. That was it, the hardest one. And we have our third exercise, which is gonna be your kettlebell sit up. You're gonna go, guys, go on your back. Make sure if you need to bend your knees, you're gonna bend your knees. 
hold the kettlebell the way you want to hold it, the way which is comfortable for you to sit up. If you don't have a kettlebell, you can do it with a regular dumbbell. I'm gonna extend my legs. If you beginner, bend your knees. One, two, three, guys. Four, drive the body from the center. From the center, my friend. Your arms are following. You start to initiate your movement, guys, in the center of your body. Eight of the weight. Come on, guys. Push it, push it, push it, push it. Do not stop. Do not stop. Good, 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 good. Guys, we're 16 through if you're following me. Quality, not quantity. 16 left. One. Two, guys. Three, stay with me. Four. Five. Six, my friends. And seven. We have only eight to go. Eight, guys. Seven. And six. Five. Only 14. Three. Two. One left. And back. All right. Good job. That's taking us, guys, to the first exercise. Go ahead. Find yourself on your plank. This time we're going to do only 24 elbows to the knees. Get ready, guys. Set. Quality plank or plank on your knees. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, all the way out. Eight of the way. Eight, guys. Seven, six, five. We cross all the way. Hit the legs and transfer yourself. Last thing, guys. Eight, seven. Send your knees on the floor if you have to. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good work. Wonderful. Plank to bear. Ready? I'm ready. This time we do, guys, only 24. Starting your plank. Let's go. One, two. Remember, knees very close to the ground. If you need to do the tabletop instead, you're going to do the tabletop instead. First, eight of the weight. We have only 16 left, guys. Two. Three. Four, guys. Come on with me. Stay with me. Five. Six. Quality, not quantity. If you need to slow down, you can always pause the video and complete. We have only eight left. Eight. Finish strong with good form, guys. Seven. Pull the belly in. Six. Five. I'm feeling it. Four. Three. And one. Two. And one now. Excellent. Turn around. We have only 24 sit ups with Kanga. We're getting closer. Bend your knees, guys. If you're a very beginner, it's easier to sit up. Ready? Watch your back. Set. Go. Come on. One. Two. 24 battles and 32. Three. Four. Five, guys. Six. Seven. We have only 16 left, guys. Only 16 left. Let's go. 16. All the way, guys. Lift it up. Two. Three. Big one. Four. Five. Six, guys. Seven. Eight. We have only lost eight, guys. With me. Come on. Eight. Watch your back. Initiate the movement, guys. From the center. We have six to go. Six, guys. And five. Four. With me, guys. With me. Finish strong. Three. And two. Do not give up. Last one. Good work, guys. That's taking us back to the exercise number one. 
This time we do only 16. Remember, water pole. Get ready. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Last eight, guys. Hit the elbow. Hit the elbow. Six, five, four. Activate the entire surface of the F3. Two, one. That was quick. That's your abs, obliques, transversal shoulders, and arms, or in general. It's taking us, guys, to our bear to play. All right, you ready? Are you ready? You're ready. Let's go. We do it together. One, only 16. Two, three. It's gonna pass quickly. Four, five. To the bear, team. To the bear. Lower your knees. Good job. We're already halfway through. One, two, guys. Three, shoulders, raise the low, stack on top another, four, five, six, guys, and seven, and eight. Good part there. Okay, exercise number three. We're gonna go for the sit ups. Bend your knees, guys, if you have to. It's much easier to get up for the beginners. Get rid of the weight if you're not ready. Ready, set, go, come on. I love my leather kettlebells, guys, too. It's getting challenging. Three, my arms are getting tired. I'm sure yours as well, but we're gonna finish it strong. Come on, guys. Push it up. Eight of the way, guys. We have only eight to go. Come on. Eight together. Full circle. Seven. Lift, 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 lift. Start the movement, guys, in the center of your body. Come on, we almost there. Four to go. We do it together, guys. Three. Sit up fully. And two. Start to get excited. We are down to the last round. All right, only eight. Elbow to the knees. Get ready. Set. Let's do it. Let's take it all the way. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. You got it. Team, bear to play, right? Only eight. Quality. Restart the shoulders. Set one or two of another. Ready? Go. One, two, three. Guys, four. Halfway through. Five, six. Don't drop the belly. Seven, and eight. Woo. Good job. Last eight sit ups. We do it together. Let's go. Extend the flex or bend your knees if you're a beginner. Let's go. Only eight. One, two, three. Finish strong with me, guys. Four, five. Are you excited? You bought your finisher. Oh, yeah, yeah, I didn't tell you that. Six. Seven. We have a finisher for abs. Last one. All right, guys. We're going to finish it with a 32 reps of the corks trail. Do it on your knees if you have to. But this is an excellent exercise to get your waist slender for the summer. Let's go. One, two, three, guys. Upper body steady. Heels rocking to the side through the waistline. Seven, six, five. Come on, already. Four, three. We have only six, six, fifteen. All the way with me, guys. Come on, finish it, finish it, finish it. Last thing, guys. Go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and last one. I can feel my obliques. Congratulations, guys. We are all through our strength training water pole challenge. Let's do a quick stretching before I will let you go. Go ahead and find yourself in your upside down V position, guys. Drop the head, relax your neck. Give it a good quality back stretch, guys. And bend your one knee, then switch, bend your another knee. And do it a couple more times. Bring attention to your back and to your legs. Good job. Go ahead and take your 
one leg up, step forward guys with me to your low lunge when your back knee is on the floor. Good quality straighten. If you have a few extra minutes, go ahead and put short quick yoga class, easy one, just to give your body a little bit more flexibility after such a challenging workout at least. Go ahead and keep your ankle back. See if you can grab your ankle. We're gonna go for the quadricep stretch. We're stretching left quad right now. So lean forward so you can get the stretching for the back lock. Four guys. Three, two, and take it back to your downward facing dog. Take your other leg up and step forward for the good quality low lunge guys. Give it a good step. Front knee above the front ankle. Chest above the hips. Hold it for the press or two up here. And then kick your other leg back. See if you can catch up on the ankle. Use the strap or towel. Lean forward so you can get into the quadricep on the back leg. Four guys. Three. That was challenging. I want to hear everything how you did in your comments below. But after we finish our stretch, and take it back, guys. All the way. Come on up. Let's give our back a good stretch in first lateral bend. All the way. Touch the floor, touch the side of your body, and all the way to the other side. Good job. Take it all the way back, reach up. Right to the left. And left to the right. Hips forward, chest up. Take it all the way back to the front. Reach all the way up. Inhalation, exhalation, one more time, guys. Reach all the way. And fantastic work, everybody. I'm so, so, so proud of you. And if that was your first training with us, Welcome to the family of the Result Driven People, guys. Make sure to subscribe and hit that bell button so you don't miss our daily workouts. I'm so proud of you, and I will see you guys tomorrow.